another video if you're new how you doing my name is jada i am a 22 year old fashion designer and i have my own clothing line called savvy nevea and i am starting my own youtube so if you could please like comment and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit that little bell button for post notifications to let you know when i drop a new video period um today's video is gonna be a little festive christmas is coming up and i wanted to do something to you know bring in the spirit so i did this little holiday christmas look you can wear this out to a christmas party you can even wear this on christmas with your family it's just something to give it a little spice now to be honest i haven't dip and dabbed in color in like a minute so bear with me okay i think it came out really cute though what do you guys think? If you like it, comment below. If you don't, still comment below. Let me know what you think about this look. And yeah, so let's just get right on to the video. Hope you guys enjoy. Hey girl, hey, it's me, back from Paris. Um, first things first, you're going to use the Alba Bontanica. It's an acne scrub. I really recommend this for acne or combination skin like mine. I use this, I applied that on my face, and I moisturized my face. I went ahead and did my um, eyebrows off camera. So if you want a brow tutorial, please let me know and I can leave that for you. Um, I also took the Saharan by Juvia's palette and I used that shade right there that I hit pan on, a brown shade. It is the perfect transitioning shade and base. And that's why I hit pan on it. But I just used a fluffy brush and applied that all over my lid. So next I went with a fluffy blending brush. This is the Morphe M330 brush. Um, I went in with my Tardius Pro palette that I got for Christmas a while back from my best friend. And I freaking love this palette. I went in with the two shades at the top, um, Innocent and Whimsy. And I went ahead and mixed those shades in and applied that all over my eyelid. Well, actually above the crease. That's where I applied that. Then I went into my James Charles palette and I went ahead and took that red shade at the top and um, I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do with that too. And I also realized that um, I have another palette. It's the Morphe 35B palette and it has a red shade in it as well. And I'm gonna use both of these red shades because they're not the same and they came out perfect. So I took that red shade from the James Charles palette and applied that all over my eyelid. Now I'm going with the LA Girl Pro Conceal, Conceal in the shade Warm Honey and I'm applying that on my eyelid and I'm stopping at the crease and I'm going to put the um, other red shade from the Morphe 35B palette over the concealer. I'm taking my flat eyeshadow brush. This is the MAC 239 brush, and I am using that to do so. I'm 
and then I'm going back in with that Morphe M330 brush and blending those two reds together um, you don't need to apply any um, eyeshadow on this brush it has leftover on there and yeah just blend together and then I'm going in with the NYX glitter primer and I'm putting that on a little bit in the middle of my eyelid because I have a special trait Dun, 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 dun. my special treat is the glitter i'm going in with some nyx glitter brilliance and applying that on my eyelid this is in the shade copper I then took a big fluffy brush just to wipe off that glitter and red eyeshadow away and I'm going in with my foundation. This is the Fit Me Matte Poreless Foundation in the shade Toffee Caramel and I wonder do y'all say caramel or caramel? I say caramel. Um, and I'm taking a Real Techniques brush and applying that all over my face. Now time for concealer. I am taking my Fenty Beauty concealer in the shade 360 and applying that in my T-zone. And then I'm gonna go in with my NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop concealer in the shade Natural and apply that just above um, the other concealer just underneath my eyes just to give it a brighter look. Now I forgot to tell y'all what setting powder I use, but I'm just taking a angled sponge and using the banana setting powder and putting that over my um, concealer. And I make sure after I put it on there, I wipe it away with the, um, I'll show you the brush at the end of this little clip, but I use the Morphe R3 brush to wipe away the banana powder. There she goes. Hey girl, hey. I got a question. How do y'all pronounce Anastasia? Do y'all say Anastasia or Anastasia? i just curious. So leave a comment below how you pronounce it. Actually, that wouldn't be uh, really good because I will be reading it and it's spelled the same either way. Okay, don't do that. But I'm taking the Anastasia Powder Bronzer in the shade Cappuccino and applying that with an angle brush. Um, where the um, bronzer goes. I put it on my forehead and a little uh, below my chin. And I then am taking the Milani blush, and this is in the Rose Amore shade. I'm taking that with a fluffy brush and applying that on my cheeks. Look at my fake smile. <laughs> Next, I'm going in with highlight, and I'm taking the In Nude Indo by ColourPop, and I'm taking the On The Loose, Morning After, and Glad You Came shades, and I'm applying that, you know, uh, on my nose, bone, 
on my cheeks I'm leaving it on my forehead above my lip what is that called cupid spell i don't know okay so this is a little test that i was doing on myself see how creative i really can get so i tried to draw a snowflake um above my eyes and i wanted to do it on both eyes but you can just keep watching and you be the judge okay I was not giving up. I was gonna make this snowflake, or was I? So I ended up saying, just fuck like it, and I just drew some dots. <laughs> parts the lashes these lashes are from my lash talk and yeah Now I am taking the Kat Von D liquid eyeliner and applying that in the corner of my eye. I like to do this every time I put on lashes because it makes it look like I actually put these holes on right and I didn't. Now I'm going back in the Morphe 35B palette and taking that red shade and applying it under my eye, my waterline. Um, I'm using just like a pencil brush. I love these brushes so much. Next, we are going moving on to lips, and I am taking the NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner in the shade Mason and applying that around my lips. And if anybody's watching this, y'all please tell NYX that they need to make a lip liner that just says brown on it because your girl have trouble finding brown lip liner, okay? I, if you're black, I'm pretty sure you understand. Okay. We're going on to the Kylie Lip Gloss, and this is in the shade Literally. Yes, ma'am. We're done. This is my favorite part. haven't liked comment and subscribed on this video yet what is you doing baby go hit that like button subscribe and hit that bell notification button to let you know when i'm dropping a new video all that good stuff all that good stuff if you like this look give it a big thumbs up 
and um comment what you liked about it like what did what do i need to improve in or what did you like the most about it let me know in the comments below what you liked about it and without further ado that will be the end of this video hope you guys enjoyed see you in my next one peace